Darren Feldhaus, two out of two at the stripe. Roy Williams comfortably looking on his team with a four-point lead and the fans front row seats making some noise. First it was Rick Patino and now it's the fans getting on the official. This is a good crew, by the way, Bob. One of the best. One of the best. Well, that time, Kansas made uh, Kentucky pay for its full-court pressure defense as they get the cheap transition basket on the back side. Miller now defended by Rick Calloway. We expected that matchup as Mark Randall takes the ball away from Davis down low. Jordan brings it up the floor quickly. Maddox to Randall. Davis with the loose ball. Lobs it ahead. Feldhaus, good pass to Miller. Uh, Rick Calloway, I believe, sailed in there and caused the Derek Miller to change his shot and really was the reason that he didn't make the basket. Maddox. And Davis pushed off. Third personal foul against Jonathan Davis, a 6'6 sophomore. This Kentucky ball club, club is young. Derek Miller is the only senior on the ball club. They had a lot of defections when Kentucky was slapped with probation. So uh, they started like a senior, a junior, and three sophomores today. Harry Brown comes back in as you see Kansas leading by five points. Mike Maddox would like to make it a seven point advantage. First point of the afternoon for Maddox. He's averaging 12.6. Second leading scorer on the team behind Mark Randall. Gives Roy Williams some great point production from his bench. Maddox gets them both, and we have a timeout on the floor with Kansas out in front by seven. 9.42 left to play. First half. Transition game is you get behind this KU offense, you're going to pay for it. Baskets like that. The Hawks with a seven-point advantage, their biggest of the afternoon, largest for either club. It's 39-32 in a noisy Allen Fieldhouse. Kansas playing five on four on the inbounds. Feldhouse swings it to Pelfrey. Inside Davis blew the shot. And Brown can't flag it down in the press row. It will be Kansas basketball. Randall, double team, dropped it back to Adonis Jordan. Kevin Pritchard's been out for quite some time. He picked He's up his second personal foul early in this ball game. And Roy Williams doesn't want him picking up number three this soon. Maddox against Davis. Pelfrey took it away from him. Probably Six. trying to work Davis for his fourth foul. Six turnovers for the Hawks. Farmer drives, can't get the basket to go. They'll call a blocking foul against Kansas. And that'll be on Mark Randall. That's a second foul for Mark as he's tried to take a charge. Take a look at it again. Farmer drives inside, and Randall might have been leaning a little bit on that particular one. That's the second one he's been called for, a second block that he thought he should have had the charge. There's Roy Williams. He's going to put Pekka Markman back in the ballgame. And he told Ed Hightower that's two that you missed. And that one looked a little bit more of a lean in by Mark as opposed to the first. Richie Farmer, 50% at the line this afternoon. He's missed just once. And 13 free throw attempts on the season. Thirty-nine, thirty-four. And Kentucky now picks up the full court defense. Roy Williams talking with one of the officials here today. Gary Brown gets it to Pekka. Adonis. Tammy KU doesn't work on breaking that pressure defense. Oh, boy, practice. that was like a clinic that time. <laughs> Gelder. A three-pointer. Jeff doesn't shoot it with as much arc on it as Terry Brown does. It's almost as effective. Well, good streak shooters normally have a, a smaller trajectory, a shorter trajectory, a flatter trajectory. Ten turnovers now by Kentucky. Gelder goes to marketing. 
Harry Brown drives, drops it off to Randall. Geldner ends up with a loose ball and can't get the shot. Markin is standing around in the paint. And Brown keeps it alive for the Jayhawks. And will reload the offense as he gets it back to Adonis Jordan. Weston Pritchard ready to check back in. 8-18 to play first half. Hawks by eight. Marking in on the reverse. Randall follows up. Got it, and he's fouled. Kansas really working the offensive boards. Fourth rebound by Mark Randall. Seventh offensive rebound for the Jayhawks today. Take a look at it again. Good reverse layup attempt by Markin and Randall gets the loose ball and puts it up and in. KU fans smelling blood. They want to put it away right now. We used to have a lot of points on the scoreboard with plenty of time <laughs> left here. It's getting scary. Well, we're on a pace of about 150 points for Kansas. Randall now with seven points. Hawks biggest lead at 11. Freeman West checks into the lineup for Coach Roy Williams as Mark Randall takes a rest. Jeff Grassow back in for Kentucky. It's Derek Miller. Oh, nice move to Shea Geldner. Can't get the shot to go. Feldhouse pushed off West to get the rebound. And keeps it alive to Farmer for three. You didn't get a chance to see the shoot around prior to today's game, but Kentucky spent a lot of time throwing up three pointers. In fact, they didn't they didn't even work up on layups. Well, they've they've attempted ten already in this ball game. We still have 7:43 left to play in the first half, and they've hit seven of them. That's 70 percent. It's kept Kentucky in the ball game to this point. Rasso picks up his second personal foul. Then both teams in the bonus situation. Kevin Pritchard at the stripe. Kevin just two points on the afternoon. The 78 percent free throw shooter. Jayhawks have canned 13 of 15 from the free throw line. Rick Calloway checks in now for the Hawks. Terry Brown out. Jayhawks have hit three of six three-point attempts. Kansas now 14 out of 16 at the stride. Kentucky right there with them. They're 10 out of 12. Calloway takes it away. Rick checks up. Can't get it to go. West, good offensive board. My goodness, Freeman West really skied for that offensive board. Farmer goes past Pritchett and gets the way. Kansas with eight offensive rebounds in this ballgame. Pritchett goes airborne. Count it. He fouled. Take a look at it again. There's Kevin Pritchard. And he was fouled. He'll go to the line for a chance at the three-point play. Kansas already with 51 points on the board as you look at Rick Pitino. The Hawks have opened up a 12-point advantage. Pritchard makes it 13. What intensity the Hawks are showing here throughout the first half. Miller had a man wide open underneath. Buries a three instead. That's Eric his fifth one. <laughs> I was trying to count him up. He got 15 points. He's only made five baskets. The interesting thing is taking eight of them. That's not a bad percentage from shooting out there. Yeah, he won't shoot if he's uh, inside that three-point arc. Well, he had an easy two inside on the feed. Instead, he liked the three and took it and buried it. Richard, and he's fouled by Farmer. Well, there's a big mismatch there. Kevin Pritchard at 6'3 on uh, Richie Farmer. They call him six foot, but he can't be six foot. If he's six foot, I'm 6'5. He's got to be more like about 5'10. He's under the spirit squad here on hand for today's game. Kevin Pritchard is yet to miss of the strike. Today he's three for three, now four for four. Well, the Jayhawks are really doing some serious damage at the free throw stripe. 16 points on uh, 18 attempts at the free throw stripe. Pritchard cans them both. Mark Randall.